In this video, we will demonstrate a simple method of doing double data entry checks in Excel. The method we will use involves taking two data sets and comparing corresponding cells. It does rely on the data being in the same order in the sheets with no gaps. To demonstrate this method, we are using data from a household survey. The questionnaire is divided into nine sections, numbered 0 to 8, and in section 7, uh, there are some data at a lower level, the fertilizer level. In the data files, the data from each section is stored in a separate sheet, with the fertilizer data also on a separate sheet. There is also a sheet containing the codes used within the questionnaire. Our two files are called Pharma DE1 and Pharma DE2, and we have a third file for the results of the comparisons. The first task will be to ensure that the data in both files are in the same order, and to do this we need to sort each sheet by the key identifiers. For the main sections at the household level, the primary key is the combination of site, village and household. And for the fertilizer level data, we add the fertilizer type to this identifier. So each section will need to be sorted by these three columns and in that order. So we select the sheet to sort, and we go to the data tab and choose sort. If the data has headers, which is the case in our example, then we can easily set select the columns to sort by. If we need to add or delete levels, we just click the appropriate button. So the order we want is site ID, then village ID, then household ID. If you're using Excel 2010 or a later version, Excel will realize that village ID contains digits that are formatted as text, and you can sort the data as though they were numbers or as though they were text. With the data that we have, we only have five records anyway, um, this will not make any difference as we have leading zeros in our village ID. So we'll just sort it as though they're numbers. We would repeat that for each of the different sections. Once we've completed the sorting, we're ready to set the formula for the comparisons. This is easier to see if you have the three files open and tiled horizontally. So with all three files open, we right click on the header of one of them and we choose Arrange and Horizontal. So we can now see our three files. We've got D2 at the top, we've got D1 at the bottom, and we've got our data comparison sheet in the middle. We're going to start in section zero. So we make sure that all the three sheets are in section zero. To start typing the formula, we move to cell A2 of our data comparison sheets. And we start off by building an if statement. So we type equals if and the open bracket. We then select cell A2 from the first file, from in this case from Pharma DE1. You probably need to click twice, once to move the focus to that file and once to actually select the cell. And you can see the cell reference appears in the formula bar at the top. We then type an equals and select A2 from the second of our two data files. Then we finish the formula by saying comma true, comma false and then close bracket. So what this is saying is if the value in A2 in the first file is equal to the value in A2 in the second file, then we're going to put the value of true in the cell, otherwise we're going to put the value of false. Now there's just one more change we need to make to this before we press enter, and that is to change the absolute references to relative references. You'll see that the when we uh, selected the cells, the cell reference came across as $A, $2 in each case. We want to just have this as A2 in each case, so that when we copy the formula, the re cell reference will change according to the position. 
The easiest way to change the cell reference is to move into that reference and then press F4. And as you press F4, you will notice how Excel will sample around uh, different types of cell reference, either a mixed reference or relative reference or the absolute reference. So there's four different types of cell reference and it will cycle through them all. Now we have the correct formulae, we press enter and it gives us true, which is what we would expect because UKR1 equals UKR1. Now we want to copy that formula down to the correct number of rows and we have just five um, five records in this, these data sets, so we'll copy it down to row six. And then we'll copy across, in this case, to row X, and this will be different for each of the sections. Okay, so most cases are true, but we do have a couple of false values in this. Now, the false values are not are easy to see. We have two. We have one here in H5 and we have one in E3. How can we make those false values more obvious? How can we make them stand out more? Well, we can use something called conditional formatting. So with this selection in place, we can go to the Home tab. We choose conditional formatting and you'll see there are lots of different uh, types of formatting that you can use, lots of different rules that you can apply. We want to just highlight cells that equal false. So we choose highlight the highlight cells rules and we choose equal to. We want to format cells that are equal to false. And you can see already the uh, these two cells are formatted differently. We can choose one of the particular, one of the preset formats, or we can choose a custom format. And in this case, we're going to put the background to bright yellow. Say OK. And now we can easily see those two cells. And we can see that in E3, in the uh, Pharma D1 file, this is Margie Fernandez. And in the Pharma D2 file, it's Maggie Fernandez. So we can see the difference there. And in H5, we see there's a 5 in D1, and there's a 4 in D2. So we would then go back to the paper questionnaires and check these values against those recorded there. We'd repeat this exercise for all the sheets in the data file. You can see that this checking method is, is not difficult, but it does require care, time and a systematic approach. As we said, the data must be in the same order in each file and there should not be any cases missing. You can try this for yourself now and we have the files available to you in your training pack.